Hello and welcome to another Better Wars here on my channel. Welcome to the season final for this time for this show. Today we're going to look at two time travel movies actually. It's actually Looper vs Predestination. One of the big reasons I chose to compare these two is basically because the, in the end it is basically the same. The character that you follow is actually hunting himself in the end. Which is kinda interesting. And it is basically somewhat the same when it comes to actually ending. In my opinion. So topic number one are going to be storyline. The story in both versions basically they are the main characters are basically working for a well bureau if you could, could call it that. And it's traveling around the in time and it's doing works, uh, killings and murders and everything. And yeah, it just works. Uh, but in the end, you will well stop doing that, and you will basically be well. You will well take a vacation, basically. You will not be working anymore for them. But the big difference in both of these movies, basically, uh, in the Looper, he they are killing a person that is basically getting well that is going on the vacation the fine the final mission of the final mission you get a small time of that they hunt you down and kill you basically in predestination they have that you have a thing i don't remember what the name is that is basically ma making you able to travel in time when you have done your final mission you basically shut it down but in this movie, it fails and he can travel around on how much he wants, basically. Um, one of the biggest things in this movie that actually makes them good is that the main character is actually hunting down himself. himself. That is a big, nice thing to actually watch and follow. But the biggest fault in one of these movies is that they have a big loophole doesn't make sense at all and that is in predestination basically in predestination you have the main character and he is hunted down himself he in this early age teenage years and everything he lost a girl he later well of the birth his first child they basically take away his ex dogs or whatever it's called in English and he becomes a man she becomes a man and later on you will see him the child she birthed or he birthed basically one of the happy things in his life but the child were kidnapped and later on you will realize that uh, when he becomes a man, he is basically going to back in time, see himself, and they go out together. He goes out with himself, he has sex with himself, he, they give birth to himself. Basically, the child they are giving birth to is himself. And the future him is basically taking the child back in time to the point where the story started. One of the biggest questions I have is how did it actually start? <laughs> Which were this person's actually parents? Yes, I know he is his own parents, but he must have a start basically. How did it? How does this loop actually works? That is one of the biggest faults of that movie, and because of that, the win of this topic are going to be Looper. Topic number two are going to be. Effects and environments. Both have great effects when it comes to environments and everything, they also are really great. The time travel things are amazing in my opinion, they just have, they have their own, well, twist to it and everything, so this one is a hard one and because of that this is going to be a tie. Topic number three are going to be side characters 
There aren't many side characters in these movies, especially in Pillars Nation, that it has basically only one or two main side characters, basically. Other ones are just in the background sometimes. In Nope, they have more uh, the main characters featuring him, his wife and everything, they have girlfriends and everything, yeah, 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 friends and everything. The one that I think have the better side characters when it comes to actually fully fledged characters is actually Flat Destination. Uh, I'll give you a reason they actually are more full fledged, even if they are less, they are more better developed character. characters. And topic number four are going to be main characters. Main characters are in both are really well acted, really well done, really well written. Everything are amazing for both movies. So these are just also going to be a tie. It's hard to actually show between two, these two movies when it comes to main characters. Uh, they are actually really great put together, as I said, and they are really well written, really well acted. Everything is just amazing when it comes to the main characters. But the ultimate winner, in my opinion, with a really small uh, fraction, is are actually going to be Looper. Because, in my opinion, it that movie makes more sense than the predestination. That be gives you that big loophole that actually makes me feel a little bit cheated when it comes to this movie. They, I don't know if they thought about that or they if they actually saw that, but. He just kill it some in the end for me when it, when it comes to the final part of the movie. And yeah. That was all for today folks. This was the season finale for this time. Hope to see you next time.